In case you missed it, the fisherman who died yesterday at a major league fishing tournament on Lake Sam Rayburn, he's been identified as 77 year old Pete Lamons Jr. The Jacksonville native played football for UT and then later for the New York Jets, where he competed in Super Bowl III in 1969. He fell from a boat while competing as a co-angler. Co-anglers typically help the professional fishermen in tournaments like this one. This happened on Lake Sam Rayburn yesterday. Tournament organizers say the boat was not running when Lamons went into the water. Texas Parks and Wildlife and officials in San Augustine County are both investigating. The discovery of an abandoned vehicle in Bridge City has led to more questions tonight about the whereabouts of a man who's missing. These are photos sent to us by a viewer who discovered an abandoned car near Bailey's Fish Camp two days ago. The Orange County Sheriff's Office says the vehicle belongs to a man named Luis Martinez Gonzalez. He was last seen Wednesday in Lumberton. His family taking to social media, saying that he left his home in Memphis, Tennessee on Monday and he was planning to travel to Mexico. Tonight, they're desperate for answers. If you have any info, please call the Orange County Sheriff's Office. To Groves now, where police have charged this mother with child endangerment after her two-year-old tested positive for meth. A Jefferson County grand jury indicted Krista Sherry this week. Investigators say Sherry admitted that her child was around while she was using meth with the child's father, but the mom was unable to explain why the child tested positive. And Port Arthur police also dealing with a bit of a mystery. They still don't know how two people ended up shot inside a car. Officers found the victims in a vehicle along Memorial Boulevard near Highway 73 very early this morning. We're talking 4.30 a.m. The car was on the side of the road. Still no word on their conditions tonight. It's being called one of the largest human smuggling busts in Texas history. Houston police and Harris County Sheriff's deputies and many more agencies moving in this afternoon and finding 91 people inside a stash house. Five were women, the rest all men. Thankfully, none were kids. Police say several of them are infected with COVID-19. Some had not had food or water for days. 